television dude here with another thrift store pickup video had to go pay my electric bill today and I was in within like a one mile radius of four different thrift stores so let's see what we got here the one thrift store called the New Hope thrift store they had some Genesis games here Chuck Chacon or Shocken or whatever boxed with instructions I'll show you the good one last. Madden 96. These are all two dollars. I'm not sure if I had Madden 96 or not. I actually may have had it, but I don't. Didn't have the manual box instructions and this giant uh, NFL scouting report. So that was cool. I think that's worth getting another copy of it. Eternal Champions, I own this too, but I'm almost positive I don't have the box or instructions. So, and if I did, I'll sell it, and I'll probably end up selling the loose copy if I don't. And finally, for two bucks, this was well worth it, Mutant League Football. If I remember correctly, this is like a 10 to $15 game, if I'm correct in that. Let's see, we've got the manual, the instructions. It says there's two free cards, but I bet those aren't in here. Very cool. Get that in there properly there. It's a huge book. Huge manual. Been wanting to own this one for a while. And Mutant League Hockey. I think hockey goes for more. It says free inside, two collectible trading cards. But the kids probably took those. And I got something possibly for my roommate if he wants it. It is it's a PC game called Dracula the Last Sanctuary. Sweet. System requirements Windows 95, 98 and ME. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, <laughs> Pentium 166 megahertz. 32 megabytes of RAM. Gee, I don't know, man. You don't know about that one? I don't know. Where did I go next? Let's see. We went to Goodwill next. Even though I just went to Goodwill Saturday, I decided to go there again. Well, actually, actually, my unemployment check we won't show that one. <laughs> we'll start with the button first. A Madden 06 Walmart tournament button. This is probably worthless, but in 20 years from now, someone's going to be like, "Man, I've almost got my my tournament button collection complete, but I need that Madden 06, and I can't find it anywhere." How much did I pay for the button? Uh, that's not the receipt. <laughs> that was my electric bill receipt. That's what I went there for. Uh, I think it was, uh, uh, you might not have even charged me for it. No, 10 cents, I think, maybe. 10 cents was for the tax. I think she gave me the button for free. Okay. <laughs> I got a uh, Viewmaster. Not the same Viewmaster I owned when I was a kid, but I thought I'd get one anyway, because it's kind of cool. I have no cards to put in it. I used to have the old one from the 70s, that version. But for 99 cents, I thought it'd be a cool thing to show off in the video. Zero dynamic. And we got here a Scooby-Doo plug-and-play, the Mystery Machine. I only paid 99 cents for this at Goodwill. My Goodwill normally never has plug and plays. But while I'm sitting here, let's see if it works. Let's see here. No batteries in it. I have four batteries sitting right here. Just so happens. I, won't, I can't plug it into the TV right this very second, but we can just see if it lights up or something. If there is a light on it. There might not be a light. Let's see here. Yep, the joystick lit, lights up. If you can see that. Yeah, the joystick lit up, so that means it works. Boom. That means it'll probably work when I plug it in. Yeah, another thrift store just got a couple uh, odds and ends. This, for some reason, looked old. It looked old, so I thought it a possibility that it could be worth money. It's just a toy, but it looks like something from like the 70s or something. But maybe they still make toys that look like that today, and it's just dirty. 
maybe it's just a modern dirty toy but it looks like something that I would have had from the 70s or something there's really no there's no date on it it just says made in China CE it says maybe maybe I wasted my 99 cents maybe I did not and I needed another set of these so just some uh, AV cables look like they haven't been used because they're still got the looks like the original uh, tie tie on there it doesn't look like it's ever been touched or tampered I needed a new pair of those and finally I went to GameStop and I got me I know everybody's boycotting GameStop these days and I understand that too but I got me and television lives you're probably wondering why didn't if I'm such an avid and television collector why didn't I buy get the autographed Keith Robinson version off the Intellivision Live site? The only good question uh, answer I have is that if I bought that one, that would cost me twenty six dollars shipped. Well, this cost me sixteen dollars and forty five cents, and I don't really have twenty six dollars to spend. So I didn't. Uh, the uh, the autograph is awesome, but is not necessary for me. Cause it's cool to have an autographed copy, but uh, since I'm an intelligent collector, I'll never be wanting to sell it. And the autograph just makes it worth more to sell, I think. I know it's cool to have on your shelf an autographed copy, but no my luck, the autograph would smear or fade off the cartridge, uh, the box or something over the time anyway. It's okay. I've been wanting to play this, so let's open it up real quick here. See what we got here. Got the cart, brand new. Structure manual, brand new. Got all kinds of games on here. Let's see if it's got the list of the games. It might not have the whole list. You might have to just put it in. The list is on the website, though. I've seen it on the Intellivision Labs website. Yeah, it's got a whole list here, plus many more. I can play Super uh, Super Spike Volleyball, Stadium Mud Buggies, those super rare games, Super Pro Decathlon, game I haven't had, don't have yet, and a bunch of others that I don't have. Be cool if they had Burger Time and stuff. That'd be cool to play on the uh, DS. But uh, that is everything. So uh, I think I did pretty good today. And that'll probably be my last spending spree until I get my income tax check. Because I don't really have any more money to spend on anything right now. Nothing at all. And I just joined a couple book clubs. When I get my books from the book clubs, I'll do a video on those too. And uh, I guess that's everything. So uh, thanks for watching.